welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Social Reviewing BA. BA has been on our watch list for quite some time. I had called puts that expire Friday. Today's only Wednesday. I keep thinking today's Thursday. It's only Wednesday, which is really funny. That's how, fat, that's how much I've done this week so far. I thought today was Thursday. Anyways, today is Wednesday. Market falling, BA falling, everything looks great. But last week I called trades in this and they were trying to go, trying to go, trying to go. I think it was Thursday. I think it was April 4th. I have to go back. Anyways, long story short. Um, actually, let me look at when it was. I'm like 99% sure. It was Thursday. Again, every day is running into each other. Let me look. Yeah, it was Thursday. We did the BAs. So we did the 180 BAs that expire Friday, last Thursday. And then we did the uh, 185 BAs. Again, this was all Thursday. So Thursday was here. There. So again, really nice move here, no matter how you slice it. Um, again, I rarely send alerts for trades moving, but because the market's been so back and forth sketchy here, I did send an alert yesterday, let everybody know when this was broke. And then of course today, if we're still in it, it's going. So you have, you have time, you have time. I mean, I, I do think this can get some more traction between now and Friday. It's not really ideal to hold a trade into the end of the week, but I gotta be honest with you, in this case, this might have a bigger move in the next two days. So today's a good exit on this though. Again, I know some people got out of it yesterday. We did the day trade yesterday, but again, you know, this is a good exit here. If you wanna wait a little bit longer, squeeze it out, there's no chance, no chance in hell this is going anywhere that's gonna be negative or over 180 or 185 between now and tomorrow morning, so you could still be in it just to see if it continues tomorrow. But anyways, again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Almost $15 through the one strike, almost $10 for the other strike. One of these trades where you can't have screwed this up. All you had to do was take the trade and wait. I know people don't like to wait. I sent an email, I think it was Friday. Friday I sent it, or maybe it was Monday. I don't, I don't know, it's just been such a busy week. One of the days I sent an email to people on the newsletter and I said, be patient, be patient, be patient. And that paid off. Patience paid off this week. I want every trade to go big and fast and quick and the second I take it. And that's day trades, options, whatever. In this case here, it took a little bit, but it didn't do anything wrong. It didn't do anything wrong at all. It never did anything wrong the whole week. In fact, quite frankly, it really did sell off every day since I called it. But with options, you know, you know how those things are. They got to push themselves down. And on the one day here, it was uh, four eight. That was Monday. Was this, that was the solar eclipse day. The stock was actually green. VA was actually green there. Again, who the heck would buy this? I have no, no idea. It's ridiculous. And there are people buying the market. I talked about that in the webinar this morning. There are gonna be people I said today that buy this market, that's crazy, and there will be people that do it. <laughs> We're not doing it, but I'm just telling you. And people bought VA, so crazy. Anyways, if you had been on the letter this week, in the last week, you would have gotten the BA put, so you would have made money if you had done the trades. One of the reasons that people love the options newsletter is because they can be at work, they can be at their job, they can be at school, they can be anywhere, and they can put the trades on, let them go, you can check them at lunch, you can check them in the morning, you can check them before the close, you don't have to sit and babysit trades. Again, this took a couple of days to get the traction, it is getting the traction now, it's finally, finally going. Again, today's a good exit in my opinion, but if you want to try to squeeze a little bit more out of it, see where we go here into the close, see if we can continue to break the low, see if we can get down tomorrow morning. Again, great call in BA. We shorted it, we did the puts. And if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at Melissa at the stockswitch.com. It's April 27th and 28th. If you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter, that is a separate subscription service which you can sign up today and you will get tomorrow's trades. Have a great day, everyone.